Thank you for watching Conscious Consumer Network. The live stream broadcast is free to view. You can pause and rewind live broadcasts to catch up or view shows at a later date by accessing our free archives of all shows. Check out our broadcast guide to see what's on. You can show your support by donating to our network support fund. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter or subscribe to the monthly newsletter for updates. We thank you for supporting free and independent media.
Afrikaner mense en die Eurokaner mense. Die mense wat in Engeland gekom het, dat die kom bo- gebore was, hulle ook. Maar om voor die toe te gaan, moet ons iets baie belangrijk doen. Ons moet die land terugvat, wettig lig. Nooit doen ons dit. Maar niemand luister meer vir ons nie, man. Ons het hoofdzake oorgeloop, ons het daar gaan in Playbree, United Nations, die sê, help toch vir ons, en my man luister nie. Want ons het ook koos aan gezegd, en het sê, luister toch net vir eens, wat ons gesê het, man. Net een keer. So die jy nooit meer van ons lekker wees nie. Maar hulle luister nie. En omdat ek die wettige toesighouwer van die land is, Engels sê, I'm the legal custodian of all Khoisan land in Afrika, en ze stem by hof. En dit is my verantwoordelijkheid, omdat ek die eerste geboorde sien is, de 16 geslachte van die koning, van die kooi, is my verantwoordelijkheid, om naar die mens te sien, en die land te beskerm. En vir hier die doel, het ek vandag gekom, om een document te teken en te sê, en ons neem ons land terug. Stem nie hulle saam. Ja, Ongelukkig moet ek het eerst uitlees en dan teken. Het sê sê, Declaration of Immediate Secession, causes which induce the just and justify the cessation of the Western Cape, Northern Cape, part of the Eastern Cape and to the Fish River, to form a new country called Good Hope Under God, in a treaty by the hand of the Khoisan Nation, with the patrons of the Afrikaner, Afrikaner, Yorokana, and the Kalib Nations. I, King Kuba Cornelius III, rightful king of the Royal House of the Khoisan Nation, and the voice of the Khoisan Nation, the first nation and only indigenous people of Southern Africa, secede the land of the Western Cape, Northern Cape, and part of the Eastern Cape up until the Fish River into a new country called Budo. And the treaty and in a binding agreement for the power sharing in the new government with the Eurocana nation, Africana nation, and the Talib nation, in convention assembled on the 24th day of September, 2017, declared that the frequent violations of the Constitution of South Africa by the government and its encroachment upon the deserved rights of the people fully justify these pieces in them withdrawing from the Republic and declare our qualified right to remedial secession. In our case of gross violation of human rights of all our said nations peoples, in deference to the opinions and wishes of the other provinces we forbore at this time to exercise this, our right and the international African Union and United Nations laws. And now the provinces of the West Cape, Northern Cape, and part of the East Cape, up into the Fish River, have formed one nation, one country called Budo, having resumed a separate and equal place among nations, deemed it due to itself to the, to the remaining republics of Africa and to the nations of the world that she should declare the immediate causes which have led to this act, the gross violations against all our people that led our nations to act include South African government denies the international form of the rights of our people to violating our fundamental human rights. The non-recognition of our nation as first nation and only indigenous people of Southern Africa, and the non-recognition of the Eurocana, Africana, colonial nation, and the colored nations who have legitimate right to live in this land. The genocide of the white people who are at 8% level of genocide watch, the marginalization of all minority groups, the plunder of state coffers of such a degree that it has seen the economic downfall and failed state enterprises, defense force and other enterprises, 
the total capture of our country and government officials to South of Richmond, the destruction of our economy that has led us to jump status, the lack of employment for all our people and the BE status that only benefit the foreigners to our land, namely the black Africans. The violent land grabs by the EFF, BLF, and ANC and the courts or more, which has created instability in our country. The fact that the government has used international corporations to formulate propaganda for the demise of our specific groups, constitutional failure, lawlessness, without justice, hate speech, threats, rapes, and xenophobia, all targeted towards our own people. The mass unemployment and the degradation of our people further down to extreme poverty. Open borders and the fact that our defense force has no money to defend, which deadens our people's safety. Unemployment and the way of life. Much more trust is by the oppressive ANC-led government, EFF and the BLF political parties. The cold fact is that politically we have reached a stalemate. All avenues have been exhausted by all our people from referendums, negotiations, <laughs> court actions, mass marches, signatures, and international appeals. All have failed and have fallen on deaf ears by both the national government and international officials. In the present case above, the fact is established with certainty. We assert that the ANC led government has deliberately refused for years past to fulfill their constitutional obligation to the good people of the country. The general government, as the common agent, passed laws to carry into effect the stipulation of the country. For many years, these laws were executed, but an increasing hostility on the part of the government and parties with similar agendas has led to the disregard of the obligations and the laws of the government has ceased to effect the objectives of the Constitution. Thus, the Constitution compact has been deliberately broken and disregarded by the government and the consequences solace is that the Western Cape, Northern Cape, and parts of East Cape is, is released from their obligation. The ends for which the Constitution was framed are declared by itself to be a form, a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of the liberty to ourselves and our posterity. We affirm that these ends which this government was instituted has been used by their actions. Since 2008, our country has steadily been destroyed by the very ones that should be protecting the constitution of all our people. They have been plundered and mismanaged the country and that the public mind is in, is in disbelief that all our people is in the course of ultimate extinction. On the 24th of September 2017, our state nations will take possession of the provinces seceded in our country under the sovereign parliament federal government that has announced that the remainder, remainder of the provinces are excluded from the common territory. That the judicial tribals, tribunal shall be made sectional, and that this is a peace succession. We do not we do invite them. We therefore, the people of the sovereign country of Budo, by our delegates and convention assemble appealing to the world for the rectitude of our intentions, have solemnly declared that the union, therefore, to existing between these said provinces and other provinces of the Republic of Africa is dissolved, and that the sovereign country of Budo has resumed their position among the nations of the world as a separate and independent country with full power to lead in war, conclude peace, contract alliances establish commerce and to do all other acts and things which independent countries may do, may of right to do. Read and adopted by King Kuba on the third and adopted by the four nations on this the 24th day of September 2017. And now I assign it in your presence. And
my gloves, my gift after gloves. Okay. I think. So it should be written, so it should be done. Welcome to our new land. Go and spread the message to your brothers and sisters. Tell them we'll see. Bit lost. Yes. Now we need to stand together to show them that the rest of the world and the rest of South Africa that we are a sovereign nation under your king. Thank God. In the way forward. In our mother tongue, we have three words to say thank you. We say gangas, thanks. We say kaios, we thank you. When you say tamato, we say thank you with deep gratitude. So to God, tamato. <laughs> God bless you all. Bless you. Thank 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 you. Yes, 
Mel, my my like our server, my internet is not working very well. Sorry. No problem at all. Wow, that was a momentous uh, occasion to witness. I mean, absolute tears. I mean, is South Africa finally a free and sovereign nation? This is the big question everyone is now going to be asking. Yes, it is. Um, how are the ANC going to take this? What is going to be the after effect of this? But what I would like to do is to take a moment of silence in commemoration of all those that have died the most terrible deaths in order to drive the people of South Africa to this. If we could just do a moment of silence um, and pray for their souls and hope that they are looking down and realize that the deaths were terrible, but may not have been in vain. <laughs> may the Lord bless us endeavor. Um, Mel, I think what we should do is say that the, the, the people who did this were the King, King Cornelius III of the Khoisan Nation, and on behalf of the white people of South Africa, that is all inclusive, not just Afrikaners, Boers, white, English, all the white people of South Africa who are all suffering the same way. The person who signed, signed on our behalf is Aubrey Bishop, and I would like to thank them for their extreme courage in doing this. Um, they have been working on this for a very, very long time have prayed until their knees are worn out. I give them all the honor for their courage because this is a huge thing and nobody knows what is going to happen next. I'd like to read what he said this morning. Okay. Today is one chance to make change. One chance to show that we are not cowards and will no longer hide. Today we stand together. The Khoisan Nation the Afrikaners, the Eurokaners, and the colored nations. We stand together. Today is your chance to say that you will not cower and hide behind bushes. You will stand up for your neighbor. Today is your chance to stand up for all those that have been senselessly murdered. Today, is your chance to stand up for those that have been forced into squatter camps and the destruction of our people. Those leaders who have denied and denounced today, God has your hands and so do we. Those that have not wanted to put that have wanted to put wealth in front of the people for the enrichment has your names and so do we. And using their own egos to make people follow for whatever reason. God has your names, and so do we. Today is our one chance to make change. 
our one chance to stand together as people against the tyranny we face. Today, you get one chance to show God and your fellow countrymen who you really are. Today, we take back our country and stop the murders and the demise of our people. Today is your day. Grab it. Grab hold of it. Stand up. Your one and only chance. Let us not lose it. To God, all the glory. Great things he hath done. Pretty powerful. Thank you to Aubrey Bishop for writing that amazing piece. And um, I must just say that we're all going to be holding our breaths to see what happens next, to see the reaction from the now deposed African National Congress government who are imposters on the land of South Africa. The official sovereign of South Africa has now claimed South Africa. South Africa has ceded to the nation of good hope. And um, we look forward to all the goodness and all the hope that we can bring out of this and look forward to seeing all those people who are suffering, receiving the relief that they so desperately need and for all these senseless, brutal murders to cease immediately. There is no need for any of this genocide to be going on. South Africa is a country of unlimited resources and abundance and there's absolutely no reason why anybody there needs suffer. I, I totally agree with you, Mel, and um, I want to thank you and your show for standing behind this heroic effort because it has been a long time coming and the world needs to pay attention. And there were so few people who were willing to stand up and so and TV doing this on behalf of the people of South Africa today. You know, Karen, it, 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 is, it is just the biggest honor of my life to be able to do this. Um, you know, this is what we do. This is what you and I have been doing for so very long. And um, I must say, it's a real honor to be able to be in a position where we are hosting uh, this particular event and able to bring it to the world live. You know, I did notice there was no mainstream media there, uh, no big fancy cameras. It was just people with the with small recording devices, phones, clearly the mainstream media who are obviously part of the globalist agenda, they weren't there to cover this because they don't want this information getting out. No, they don't. And that is why I have a list, the length of two arms of people and show hosts that need a thank you. I will post it on my Facebook page. It is too long for everybody to mention now who have helped with sharing this link. It's copying your stream, streaming on their own networks, um, using Twitter, using every media uh, at their command in order to share this historic moment so that the world is forced to pay attention. And we can only hope that that is the outcome. Yeah, let's hope. Let's hope that the world pays attention, that people see what has been done, and that if it can be done in a place as desperate as South Africa, that we can do it in the rest of the world. Now, obviously, symbolically, we have now seen the succession. The, the king has claimed the Cape of Good Hope uh, and renamed South Africa under the Republic of Good Hope. Now what we need to see is the change that is so desperately needed. We need to see the allevi alleviation of all those people who are in squatter camps. We need to see them being um, put back into society in constructive ways. We, we need to see the violence and the murders stop immediately. And for those people out there who may still be involved in perpetuating these crimes under whatever policies you believe are in effect under the African National Congress, such as Black Economic Empowerment, where huge minority groups have been marginalized and dispossessed of their lands and possessions. Many of them have been murdered. This is your chance to think about what is going on and what you can do to put right what has happened. Because we cannot continue to follow these policies of devastation, chaos, murder, outright corruption. It does not benefit the people. It benefits only a very few at the very top, the global elitists, under the globalist agenda, which unfortunately is 
I do not wish to get into that at this point, but if you know anything about it, this agenda is nothing more than the complete annihilation of the human race. Let us as South Africans stand together and say, no, we will not take this. We have the power to take our sovereignty back. It was never theirs to take from us in the first place. So let's hope for, let's be hopeful that people now have the courage to stand up and start bringing to action all these things that need to be done in order to facilitate the change. And um, Mel, you're always, and my always plea, please, people of South Africa, stand together. Do not let this chance go to waste. Do not let it be all fruitless. Stand together. Put yourselves and your organizations behind this move. I do believe it is our one chance to make this work. Yes, yes indeed, Karen. It is our one chance to make this work. And you won't see the mainstream media covering this. Hell, you probably won't even see this in the newspapers. This is going to be an underground sharing of information. This is going to be people on the ground who know what's going on, passing around the links, showing the people what has happened and how symbolic it is. The king has claimed the land. He is the rightful sovereign of what was known as South Africa, now known as the Republic of Good Hope. We now need to look at what that means for each and every South African, for us as sovereign beings, for freedom-seeking, justice-seeking individuals. What does that really mean? Symbolically, the precedent has been set. Now it's just up to us to make it happen. And we will post the agreement, the, the formation of Good Hope, we will post the, that on the site as well so that people can see exactly what, who is included, what is happening, what they have agreed on, that we are going to be one nation under God with no BBBEE, -E, no land claims, no burning of schools, no rioting in the streets, no robbing businesses, no dispossessing anybody. Uh, we will post the entire agreement so that people can see that this is not pie in the sky. This is a very serious endeavor. Yes, indeed. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, well, we have lots of work to do because obviously we have to distribute this. The live link will be um, ready within the hour to be distributed. And um, in the meantime, I'm going to be posting the agreements and the articles as far as we can. So we have lots to do. And I, I do, I do want to say a big thank you to Craig Munro. I can see him over there. Um, for obviously bringing us the live feed directly from the castle in Cape Town, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes. Okay, so directly from the old fort, also known as the, uh, the Castle of Good Hope in Cape Town, probably the oldest building on South African soil um, to be built. And um, it's obviously very symbolic in terms of where it sits and all the all the history that surrounds it so it was really beautiful to see the ceremony going on great to see a nice turnout of people and um we look forward obviously to what this brings we can still see some footage coming in from craig over there yeah. of some of the crowd obviously that has gathered Those are the walls of the castle. For anybody who, who doesn't know Cape Town, you can see the famous Table Mountain in the background. Okay, we seem to have frozen. Karen, is there anything else you'd like to add? I would just like to say... If we want to change the world, we must first change the media. Mainstream media exists for the purposes of indoctrination and manipulation of public perception. The world of free and independent media is growing, and with the upsurge in information now available in the public domain, it has never been easier to access free and independent media. The exploration of this information resulted in an experimental project which would provide a fully supported space for researchers, whistleblowers and seekers of all kinds to express themselves and educate the world. 
On the 1st of January 2015, Conscious Consumer Network was launched to the world. Nobody thought we would make it this far, but CCN is the longest running free and independent media network of its kind. CCN is a unique collaboration of hearts and souls bringing you information from different perspectives to educate and inform. Since we started CCN, we have had only one desire, the pursuit of a free, fair, just, sustainable world, and this has not changed. Having overcome many challenges over the last two years, CCN is here to stay and we've got great things lined up for 2017. Help keep CCN on the air by supporting the 2017 Network Support Fund.